look what I got at Harbor Freight. $49. ATV cargo carrier. Fits on the back of my minivan. Perfect. 300 pound capacity. $49. That's 65% off the retail price. I think it was 100 and Hundred and ten, hundred and twenty. I kind of forget now. Oh, and this little uh, stair light that was uh, nineteen ninety nine at Walmart. <laughs> it's got hinges and a uh, little lock uh, thing you can put there. There it is installed on the back of my. Uh, Minivan, awesome, bonus. My name's John Wing. Wing is a Chinese name. In Chinese it means the arm of a bird. <laughs> I wanted to be a doctor. But I realized pretty early that they'd never name part of a hospital after me. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for the wing wing. Excuse me. The wing wing. A woe? Most of my family are from upstate New York. The buffalo wings. <laughs> We're fairly spread out. I should tell you, I'm not actually from Canada. My, my father was just stationed here during the Vietnam War. <laughs> Chicken wing, we called it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the little solar panel that that I got for $27, <laughs> hundred watts it says, and um, connected it. You know, it came with the little solar solar uh, that little supposed to be a 30 amp solar panel. Um, I've connected it up to the battery and it shows, I don't know if anybody can see it, <laughs> that there's 11.6 volts now in my battery which kind of it drained out when I was using it earlier so um, I had a, I don't know, a, uh, 175 watt uh, inverter connected to it and I was I don't know what I was running off of it I was running something off of it oh my fan I think I don't know anyway and it just started beeping that meant or humming or whatever the heck it does and it shut off so then I just tested the battery so now it shows the battery's only got 11.6 volts in it and I hit this button here it says I've got 13.7 oh. 13.7 volts going into the battery from the solar panel but it's just sitting at 11.6 because it's uh, 20 after 3 in the afternoon oh and uh, um, it's quite sunny though. The sun is only just about there. So, uh, you know, I don't know if the panel is direct sunlight or what. But anyway, 13.7 volts going into the battery, so that must be pretty good, I guess. 
Um, I don't know if I've got anything that I can run directly off of the solar panel just to see if it runs something. Oh, it did. It ran the fan, I believe. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can run anything off that battery, so as long as that, all I was concerned of was something to charge the battery if I needed it charged when I wasn't running, because I have a thing that I can charge the battery right off the engine, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, part one, anyway, of the testing shows that, yes, it does... It is sending 13.7 volts into my battery uh, at uh, in Virginia at uh, you know 3:20 p.m. Lots of sun, no clouds. And the temperature is probably around 58 degrees. So, cuz we've got a cold snap So, part one of my testing. I'll uh, see what I can run directly off that panel when it's sitting in the sun. Maybe something that's, uh, I don't know, 100 watts. We'll try that. I just got to think of what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, not so bad. Not too bad for... $47 for the panel and the controller, 100 watts, from China. Took uh, two weeks to get here, or to get to Canada, actually. I brought it down with me. Thirteen point seven going in to the battery. Twelve point six volts available to go out. Oop. Now the battery just I think it's saying that there's ten point nine, but that doesn't make sense. So I think thirteen point seven volts going into the battery. Now it says 12.6 volts going out, but there's nothing. So it must be 12.6 volts available in the battery. 12.6, yeah. I don't know what this 10.9 is. Before it was 11 point something, 6. It was 11.6 before. But then the sun is gone down, starting to go down, I guess. It's almost 4 o'clock. Oh, it is four o'clock <laughs> now. So, 13.7 volts apparently going into the battery and 12.6 going out or available to go out, I guess, because I haven't got anything hooked up to it. This little charge controller. <laughs> Probably worth 20 bucks, eh? It's pretty, uh, pretty simple. It's got a couple of USB outputs in it there, I guess, to charge your phone and stuff off of it, too. I could test that, I suppose. I picked this up from Harbor Freight. For ten bucks, it's a um, called a automatic battery float charger. Maintains the charge of twelve volt batteries in storage. So I thought, hey, if I hook this up to my little inverter, uh, got a hundred twenty watt inverter there, and that inverter plugs into the um, 
a lighter outlet. And then I hook it up to the battery. So while I'm driving, as soon as I start the car up, this will fire up and uh, trickle charge my battery. And I tested it and it works. Excellent. Um, driving all day, that thing there can be trickle charging this. I don't need to go with uh, an isolator. Not at all. Bonus. So always my battery will be charged whenever I stop and hopefully this little solar panel will do the trick when the sun shining.